on the board for Wazari. <laughs> Natik Bagirov, the coach for the Belarusian, just letting his man know that he thinks he can go to that technique again. Richimata from Maya almost turned. Zari on the board for Vakavyak. Gary almost turned. Yuko now on the board for Maya after that counter. Second score on the board. Zari is still the lead, however, for Vakavia. There's two minutes to go. And he looks as though he's struggling a little bit. I think the um, man behind the scoreboard with the mobile phone is about to be ejected here. <laughs> Odd. As long as Vakaviak can stay in this, I hope that injury isn't, isn't going to put him out. It should make for an interesting contest. A minute and a half to go. Attempted the Hizaguru, or maybe Surikomiyashi, a little bit high up.
with the Serenagi effort. Bakaviak with a chance now to burn some time on the ground. There's a minute left, so would have needed to have done something a little bit more active than just sitting on him. Nice footwork from the Belarusian. Almost catching Maya with the Kouji. penalty goes against Makaviak. The half a minute left to go. Now he can just stay, defend, but Maya's decided to take things standing up. 28 seconds left to go. Bagirov won't have a voice left after this. That's the Belarusian coach. There could be problems here with the um, the leg grab, I think. <laughs> Makaviak may have taken Maya down using the left hand. No. I didn't see a replay. It just looked like that from the get-go. Makikomi again, which is what Bagarov was suggesting. Dutch coach going crazy this time. Makaviak finding it difficult to get to his feet. Last few seconds, Maya won't do it now. And Maya asking for the leg grab. so many fighters talking about it I'm not sure if they're still looking at it I don't think they are give the decision and off we go for Kaviak is the bronze medalist there Maya is going to have to settle for fifth place and a new bronze medal winner in the weight 200 plus one from Belarus Kaviak Alexander